Hello everyone. In this video I want to talk about what a pandas multi-index object is. We'll look at an example and how we can start using these in our Python scripts. Let's jump right in. To start off, let's look at the data that we'll be using. Here in our Excel file called m underscore index, we have a column that includes stock tickers, we have a column of months, and we have a column of values. These values are just the average price of this stock in this given month. Let's start working with this data in a pandas data frame. We'll bring up our text editor. As usual, we'll import pandas as pd, and then we'll drop down and say Excel file is equal to the name of our Excel file. This time it's called m underscore index dot xlsx. We'll create the data frame by saying pd dot read Excel and then passing in the Excel file. And then we'll go ahead and print the data frame to make sure we've read it in successfully. Opening up a command prompt, we'll say python3 and then the name of the file. So multi index example.py. When we print, we see we get an ordinary data frame. A pandas multi index object just allows us to take a data frame that has a higher number of dimensions and reduce those dimensions down into a lower dimensional structure. Okay. Let's go ahead and explain this using an example. We'll drop down a few lines. We'll create a new data frame. So we'll say df1 is equal to the old data frame, df. We'll use a function called set index, and then we'll pass in two column names. We'll say the first one being the stock, and then the second one being the month. So far, we've only seen data frames that are indexed by one column. By setting our index using two columns, we're creating a multi-index object. Let's go ahead and see how this new data frame is returned to us in our terminal. So we'll print df1. Now, instead of having something very similar to the Excel spreadsheet, we'll return a data frame that has a multi-index. Seeing the result, we've dropped all the duplications from the stock column. And now we can distinguish each stock very clearly as each month January through May. A multi-index object can be thought of as an array of tuples. In this example, we would have the tuples of Microsoft in January, Microsoft in February, and then so on. The idea behind a multi-index is that we're able to access the data a lot more efficiently and we also have a cleaner data frame that we can view in the terminal. So let's say that we wanted to access all the values that we have for the stock waste management. Waste management has the stock ticker of WM. So we'll drop down and say print df1.loc square brackets and then we'll pass in the string of the stock ticker, so WM. Now we can return this to the terminal and we should only have the five values that are correlated to the waste management stock. We see that we pulled those out successfully. Without the multi-index, we'd have to go through the data frame manually and pull out all the waste management values ourselves. Here, a multi-index is able to better organize our data so we can pull it out more effectively. Now let's say we wanted to pull out the stock value of Microsoft in the month of January. We could drop down and say print df1.loc square brackets, and now we can use a tuple of the values to pull it out. So we can use a parentheses, pass in the stock ticker of Microsoft, so MSFT, and then we'll put a comma, and then we'll pass in the month of January. We'll save and execute this file. When we print, we see that we're returning this value. Let's talk about one more way that we can pull out data from a multi-index data frame. We'll drop down and say print df1.loc. Now let's say that we wanted to return the value for each stock in the month of January. We can use the pandas function of index slice to do this. So we'll put a square bracket, call in pandas again, and say index slice. We'll use square brackets again, and now we want every stock, so we'll use a colon in the month of January. And now we need to specify what columns we want. We can put a comma here and then put a colon to return each one. We'll save and execute this, and we should be returned each stock value in the month of January. This is exactly what we get in our terminal whenever we execute. Multi-index data frames make it easier for us in some circumstances. It's not important that we master multi-index data frames because we often use just plain data frames. The main idea behind these data frames is that it makes it easier for us to pull out certain data belonging to certain groups using the index column. Like I said, we don't need to master these because we'll be using regular pandas data frames most of the time. We just need to know that this tool is available to us. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know. Until next time.